Subscribe, What for the four? Manchester United winning. You know what? At the second, at the second half, I was like, surely it can't happen again in terms of the comeback in a sarcastic way because I expected us to do it. How foolish was I? <laughs> I mean, Donny ironically put us on our way to do that, but oh well, what a turn of events. Um, Harry Maguire, red card, lack of discipline, running into man like you thought it was a PS2 game when people can just run through objects, newsflash, this is real life. <laughs> you know, oh, he will get most of the stick because he's the captain. You know, he was supposed to go out on Mark Starr for the second goal, but he fails to react. Just like everybody else though, we are always second to balls, letting them bounce. They don't want to put a head on it. They don't want to smash it clear. It's coward. It's coward's play. It's coward's football. Top to bottom. We are a pathetic excuse of a football club. We went to Watford and sat back in the couch like they were the fans watching at home. There was no difference. They played us off the park, Watford speaking, like when the year 11s take away the ball from the year 7s and boot it out the ends. It was sad. We couldn't string four passes together. Hell, couldn't even string more than two. <laughs> was expecting a reaction. Didn't see that. Was expecting certain men after taunting us to come back on fire. Didn't see that. But did we really believe anything was going to change? Their man went on a week uh, or whatever it was, holiday. They didn't work on anything meaningful. And look, all I'm going to say now is the time is up. The time is now. <laughs> you know what I mean? The time is now like John Cena. Make a decision, it's up to you. This is not good enough. We got smoked by Leicester City. We're having a shocking season. Manchester City and Liverpool. We're not going to speak about that though. <laughs> and look, we can add relegation candidates. What for now? The team that sacked their manager and still lost three of their last four games. But maybe we're no different because we lost four of our last five. Let that sink in. First of all, let me start this by saying I ain't seen a man like CM react like this for years. For <laughs> years. Bro. There's reason. There's a reason. And let me just click this thing and say the players were poor. <laughs> Tactics were cowardly. I'm hurt, sad and just sick and tired of this situation. See what you've Nothing's done. Nothing's there. Nobody can run away from this. Nobody. Including the board. The board of this historically amazing football club. They're killing us all. Don't just blame Maguire first because everybody on the pitch was bored here. Yes. McDominay, Matic, Bruno and so many more. You know what I, I used to say? When players join United, they would have a honeymoon phase and then the marriage would just go left. It's happening to everybody. It's happening to, to Bruno of all players. Maybe it's even happening to Ronaldo. <laughs> He's tried to create something and he had a few chances to be fair today, but by his standards, even he would tell you he was poor. Not good enough. But when all the 10 players behind you are so poor, it's tough to change the man. It's tough! It's tough to change the narrative for yourself. Is way, isn't it? Our leader today ran into a Sonic coin and got sparked with a 1-2. In fact, we all got sparked with a 1-2 combo. Back to the board, man. Back to you! You threw in this! Sorry for everybody at home, man. Instead of making the right decision, they used the international break to make Solskjaer more of a scapegoat. That's not me saying Ole is not in the wrong, by the way. 
but they waited till after so they could bury himself even more so or they could bury himself even more and become the one and only person to blame don't get tricked by this fanshare scheme and Manchester United's PR tricks. They know what they're doing. It's sad, disrespectful to the fans and the football club as a whole. This is a joke. This is a shambles and right now, Manchester United are burning on fire. Stuck in a cycle of mediocrity and it all starts from the top. The board have won again. Because I'm already seeing people abuse or the players or whatever you're going to do. Do not do that, Manchester United fans. That's one thing I beg you. Do not do that. Yeah? It's fine to criticise the players and the manager. But when it becomes malicious, you are in the wrong. Keep it classy, man. And recognise what the board are doing. Realise that it only benefits them and nothing that goes on on the football pitch. Drop a like, subscribe and let us know what you thought of the game. Even though it's pretty obvious. Stay sane, stay classy. It's time to reflect. I think the end is near, but who am I to know? I'm just a fan after all. Make sure you subscribe, like this video, everything free, no need for a criminal, mind control, all subliminal, Twitter, TikTok, Insta, digital, join this crew, follow my Twitch and I might rape you, if you pass through ends in this my gang, bust down doors or phase right through.